join numerous strips of land together with bridges and you have the famous Florida Keys, which for 170 miles between Miami and Key West offer the most spectacular and diverse saltwater sports fishing on this planet. Anglers can fish from the bridges along the shorelines of both the Atlantic and Florida Bay, join a party boat trip or set off into the blue waters of the Atlantic on a big game boat. For tarpon fishing, Isla Mirada, situated halfway down the Keys, is my favourite location. And I've come along to Robbie's Bar and Boat Dock, where huge tarpon gather for all to see, with my guest, angling fanatic and fellow TV presenter, Chris Tarrant. Well, there you are, Chris. You wanted to see tarpon. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thousands of them. And some of these are huge, aren't they're, they? They're huge fish, 150. They're like a giant... Like a bleak, like a roach? They're, they're, they're like a herring. A they're massive a herring. Bony fish's family. Yeah, Some that's... of these are, what, 150 pounds? Yes, yes. I reckon there's probably a couple here that are knocking 200 under there. So they come here because they're fed here daily by locals and... Yeah, that's right. They're the a the tourist attraction. But, of course, when these go out into the channel, there's no wire chain here. They can swim out into the channel. and You might be catching one of these, you never know, and, uh, and then they become wild. But here... You know, well, they catch a lot of fish in this area, don't they? I mean, right under local bridges, under the main road. Right. Well, this is what I've come to catch, because <laughs> I think, for me, more than anything, this is the spirit of Florida. It's what you see in all the bars. There's a tarpon over the bar. Yep. A lot of the bars around here are called the Tarpon Bar, the That's Tarpon right. Restaurant. But I've never caught one. They're supposed to be, I mean, you say, that they are probably the strongest fish you've ever hooked. Oh, I think so, along with Marcia, I would think, in India. And strangely, Huge scales, just like Marcia, yeah. and if, if should a scale come off, you dry it between the pages of a book and uh, write the date and capture on it. It's, uh, I'm going to feed one now. You so be careful. Some of these are massive. What's, what's the biggest? What's the biggest <laughs> ever caught? Uh, the biggest ever caught that I've heard of was 303 pounds, and that was in the Gambia in French West Africa. That's on a, that's on a rod and line. Yeah, but the world record rated by the IGFA, the International Game Fishing Association, you be I careful. Think, I think is about 280. Whoops. Nope. I'm flinching already. Ha! 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 more, come on. I chickened out there, I'm afraid. Here we go. Well, these, if these get hold of your wrist, they can give you quite, quite a nasty, um, you know, can't they? Here we go. Come on, guys. You have to hold it closer to the water. Go! Right, well, uh, I think that's enough of that. Oh, no, I could watch you do that for hours. Hopefully, the next time you see one of these will be on the ends of our line because I've booked up a trip for tomorrow morning early with John Rawl up the road and we're going to set off and see if we can get Well, now, that's, that's one of the things about these fish, of course. We're seeing them in bright sunshine and they're here because they're fed, but actually, mainly, they're caught at night, aren't they, or very early in the morning? They're a lot more susceptible to being caught. You can catch the odd one in the daytime, but at night it's much better. Should we go and see John Rawl and have a look at the gear we'll be using? OK, what time do we have to start fishing? Early. What do you call early? Early. John, I thought we'd find you messing about with your tackle out. Hello, right, good to see you. Yeah, you too. Well, welcome to Florida. You know Chris, Hi, don't you? Hi, Chris. Pleased to meet you. Pleased Hello, to meet you. Mate. I've heard great reports about you, John. I know, only rumours. <laughs> right, so what are we using then? Well, this is the gear we will be using, John, for the, for the sort of standard drifting if we've got a nice bit of breeze blowing. Yeah. So. 30 pound line? 30 pound main line. Yeah. 100 pound leader. Yeah. Stops from chewing it off. Yeah. Uh, they haven't got teeth, but they've got very sharp abrasive jaws. And one very sharp hook for the... What are we using, pinfish or crabs? Well, we'll be using crabs at the moment. Yeah. The fish are on crabs rather than pinfish. Yeah. A very yeah, sharp, sharp five-oak hook. Great. It's something that uh, we've been, really been looking forward to. We've just been down to Robbie's to have a look at the feeding the tarp. And so Mass now Chris, Chris wants to get into yeah. one. I'll do it. Yeah. Really, I'll really, really bad. <laughs> I'll see you've got a spinning rod uh, <coughs> ready as well. Yeah, we use these if we get the opportunity yeah. to cast at any fish that are close to the pond. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's a 25-pound test, a shorter leader, same hook, just a little float to stop the crab yeah. diving too deep. If we get one sort of roll near the boat, you can cast yeah. a crab at him, and uh, hopefully we catch one that it's way as well. It's quite light, isn't it? I right. like the, yeah. the small float and all yeah. that. I mean, that's yeah. almost like course fishing. It only actually, yeah. all it does, it just stops the bait. You don't use it as, a, as, a, as an indicator. It just stops the crab diving down too deep in the grass, and it presents the bait at a certain depth. But they're very sensitive, the tarpon sensitive. They are, well, they're surface feeders, basically, and you don't want that crab to go down too deep. You want your bait presented above them and that just keeps that at the right sort of level. Now listen, I've already told Chris that we could be getting up early in the morning. Give us the bad news. Well, when you hear sharp, ready to go, tuned in, switched on at three o'clock. <laughs> three o'clock. I thought you were joking. Three o'clock. Remember, I'm 
on holiday. Yes, I'm not working, I'm on holiday. So you are. They're good, these blue crabs, aren't they, John? Yep. Right. Yeah, they're good bait this time of year, yeah. John. Well, I like the fact that you keep that spare hook, an old hook, just to make a hole in the shell first, rather than possibly, which you would, blunt the hook on that we're hoping to hook the tarpon with. Makes all the difference, doesn't it? Yeah, these hooks are pretty strong and they're very good, but it just, I just think it makes a little bit of difference. It's, it's, it's your freshwater influence, mate. That's what it is. Something <laughs> like that, yeah. There we go. Great. OK, thanks very much. This is spooky, isn't it? <laughs> There's just a glimmer of light coming up yeah. over the horizon, but not a lot. The anticipation is, it? is Fantastic. frightening, isn't it? Because any second now, something could bust out, grab one of these baits, and it's, it's all hell breaks loose. This is what I love about this uh, drifting for time. It's got to be some of the most exciting fishing you've ever done, John, isn't it? That's great fun, John. You never get bored with it. I remember when I came, I think it was last year, John, with Pete Hazel, we went in here, one jump in the boat, that big fish I lost, didn't we? Yeah. It, it busted and jumped towards us. Good God. And it was 10 foot from the boat when it was 8 foot in the air. In the air. Unbelievable. I mean, it was just awesome. It's true, isn't it, John, that people have actually been killed with tarp and jumping on them. Yeah, there's been Really? Oh, yeah, Seriously, yeah. seriously yeah. injured, yeah. yeah. You get 150 pounds travelling 30 miles an hour, land on you, you know, it's... Uh, I don't know what... You don't have to be Einstein, do you, to work out what it'll do. I'm going to need to spin the rod out. We've got to make the most of some of these opportunities, I think. If we leave you holding a, a static rod, Chris, yeah. I'll give John a spinny rod. You got a float on that or not? Yeah. Just, you've only got to just creep it back slowly. Yeah, OK. Just, you know, cover it. And slowly. Slowly. Yeah. Give us that rod. I'll put this one out of the back. You can work off the bear. OK. But just quarter it. Yeah, you know. Sure. Just... Yes, perhaps it is time. Cool. See, was yeah, yeah. So, put, put it to the right of him, John. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes, here we go. Yes. Oh, John. <laughs> oh, it's a good fish, John. Yeah, keep hey? tight on him, John. Keep tight. Oh, no. Oh, yes. It's coming to us. It's still coming towards me. Well, it's huge. It is huge. Oh. Well over 100. I'll tell you what, Chris, this is a powerful fish. It's probably 100 yards out. That was a wonderful jump when it oh, took, wasn't it? Right by the boat, and it was such a quiet <laughs> night, an absolute yeah. flat calm. I, could, I could feel it grabbing it, and it... Suddenly, all uh, hell broke. Yeah, and, and, but it wasn't doing anything, and all of a sudden, it must have swum 20 yards towards me, and then it... I mean, it could have almost landed in the boat, yeah. couldn't it? Mm. That's what I mean about being on the ball, Chris. There's no, you know, zero tolerance with these things. They just <laughs> blow you away instantly if you're not ready for them. He turned then. Here he comes. He's coming up now. He's coming up. He's coming up. Jump. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what test we got on this? Um, 25 pound test, 25. John, on there. Good. Good. This tide's picking up, John, isn't it? No, it's him towing us. Oh, it is, is it? Yeah. I, do you know, I thought that tide's... <laughs> Well, there you go. It's not often you're towed by the fish you're playing, Chris, is it? Is this magical fishing or what? <laughs> My hand's shaking with the amount of power I'm using. It's just... If they headed the nails of catfish or shark... Oh, there's nothing can compete with this. Salmon. No, nothing no, no can comparison, Chris, no comparison. Bond. Nothing can compete with this. Probably, well, I've never caught... The thing is, Chris, I've never caught a marseer in the sea and I've never caught a tarpon in a fast-flowing river, so... The thing about this, you know, Chris, is in, in Britain we use a 25-pound line and we never, even in the sea, hook anything that ever stretches the line yeah. to this sort of talk, right? This is why they use boomini knots over here, which gives you maximum strength of the line, isn't it, John? Yeah. If you want to know how tight this line is, Chris, listen. <laughs> what is that, G? <laughs> you can see how fast it's towing us, but by the, there's no tide at the well, moment. It's like a tide, isn't it? Yes. That's literally the power of it's, the fish. It's mm. towing us at trolling speed. It's towing a thousand pound boat <laughs> at about two mile an hour. This is absolutely incredible. And I can't give it 25 pound line any more. Listen. <laughs> Any more steady than that? <laughs> That's a higher note than the last time you did I did actually get a better note then, didn't you I? Did. Bouldering onto bluegrass, wasn't it, that? The love cleaning windows. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look at that, John. Still towing us after 
20 minutes and its tail is just going like that slowly. It's not even putting any effort. It's one of those fish, isn't it, John, that doesn't belt around and tire itself out and, and we're going to have to close down on it shortly, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, well, he's getting, he's getting near some, da some dangerous area, John. Oh! Was that a jump, Mr Tarrant, or was that a jump? Look at the size of that, Christopher. Incredible. Oh, look at it. Massive. Seven foot long. That's a big fish, John. He's a big one, yeah. It's absolutely colossal. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sight for sore eyes or what? What do you think of that, Chris? Stunning fish. Isn't it unbelievable? It's still and he's still towing the boat. That's as big as anything we saw at Robbie's, Chris, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's 150, it's... 160, John. Is it yeah. really? Uh, well, I'm tempted to say, just go and touch the leader so I've got it, will you? Because well, if we, it... well, Chris can do that. All right. Uh, do you... Chris, all you've got to do is just touch the leader. Wait, wait, we go a little bit closer. Because then if it comes off... The reason they do that is that if, if, if you've actually got that close that you've touched the leader, you could have netted it. So therefore, out here in the Keys, they count it. Because a lot of these fish, they just break off with them because you can't do anything with them. Look at that. Look. <laughs> touch the leader, Chris. <laughs> just, just touch the leader. That's it. That's, don't let the great go. Right, that's it. That's mine. What are you going to What are you going to give me, John? He's 160, John. 160. Yeah. Hey. Dear me. No, he's, he's getting near being beaten now. You know, smooth clamp up on him. Okay. And there it was, my largest tarpon ever, finally beaten. A fish that was far too big to ever bring into the boat. Thank you very much, mate. Right, I pleasure. had to tighten down on that. Thanks, I guys. Yeah, you right. never seen anything like that. Was that an hour of yeah. magic or what? Hey? That's, a, that's the best thing for the fish, John. When they get tired like that, it's just, you know, that's what we normally do. Bring them in, touch the leader, pop them off. Yeah. And the hook will probably fall out. Oh, the hook will fall out. You can go catch another one and the fish swims off. No, I don't want to catch another one, John. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's the bloke who's going to oh, catch the what, next I'm one. Well up for this, <laughs> Let's get a big one this time. <laughs> Dawn breaks over Isla Mirada in the Florida Keys as Chris Tarrant and I patiently wait while John Rawl poles us towards groups of big tarpon. You, know, you, you want to be about five, six, seven feet in front of him. Watch what way he's going. And, and past him, so that you could just creep that crab across the front of his nose. Straight back towards the shore. Concentrate on that area there. Another one. So there's, a, there's a pod of them there. I've got them, John. John. That's what I'm heading for. John, look. Wait, wait, we get in range. Lead them by about six or seven foot. OK. The time we want to hook one, really. There's a fin just came up there. Oh. That's it. Go on, yep. cover it. Here we go. Yes. Oh, look at that. Here, yeah, Chris. You can have this one. Do you want to hit him again? Yeah, all right, all right. Oh, sugar. Don't get him in control first. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get him. Yeah, but you've got to get him under control first. Okay, mate. It's too quick. You know, get him on there, away from oh, you, right, before okay, you pass it. <laughs> You'd be selling up now. Oh. Two or three, then. A little bit too far, aren't we? Look at those fish over there, topping and tailing. It's, it's a good pod there, isn't it, John? Yeah, yeah. Good pod. If we can get fairly close Why to Why can we get close? Yeah. For this sort of fishing, I tend to have the bail. I'm already open, my forefinger locked around the line. Oh so that I can get onto it straight away. Do you see it? Big fish there, Chris, wasn't it? Oh, this is, this is such unbelievable fishing, it really is. It's so exciting. It's hairs on the... Oh, there's a fish there. It's hairs on the back of your neck stuff. Now, that's over that fish. Is it going to take it or not? Yes, it's taken it. It's taken it. Yes, here we go. Yes! Whoa! Yo! Yoga! Ah. What about that? <laughs> <laughs> that That was on and off, wasn't it? <laughs> that was magic, wasn't it? Was that magic or was that magic? It straight out. What's this, John? Oh. Yeah, get ready. Right, straight between those two. Fire it. Right, just a slow creep retrieve. 
Get ready. Just beside it. He balled at the crab. John, John. Get behind him. He was on it straight away, John. Oh, no. Go on, Chris, hit him, hit him, hit him. Well done, Chris. Don't, don't, don't stun the spool. Chris, let go of the spool. Not sure about the idiot. I don't want to be attached to that. You go are on. attached to that, my son. <laughs> let him go, let him go. You let him go, like what choice do I have? <laughs> no, I won't let him go. I'll put my finger on the line. Is this magic or is this magic? Well, that's get, amazing. That's like tench fishing. Just get a rod up high. You rod up high. Well done, Chris. Good. God. Keep going hard on it, Chris. Going, That's right. really important early stages of the fight to get them back before they get their breath back. You wouldn't dare talk like this to your missus, John. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> then she abuses me big time. Well, says... I'm being kind to you, Chris. I'm normally much nastier than oh, this. Thanks. <laughs> God damn. It is exactly like trout in wind lanes, isn't it? Yep. Except they're under a pound plus. <laughs> Just coming up the... Are you, are you making on that, Mr. Tarrant, well, or are you playing with it? He's doing, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. As John gives me an all right, that's almost quite good with him. This little bucket. Christ. That's it, Chris. It's nice and smooth. What a morning, Chris, eh? Unbelievable. What a morning. I'll tell you what, Chris, that fish is as good as anything we saw in Robbie's, you know. So you are on a good fish there. Are we still on fish here, John, or not? We've got half a chance, John, but this, this fish has towed us away from the main yeah. pod, the main school. I'll leave school. my crab in the water anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Go Chris strong. is filling his boots with that. Right. So strong. Up. The power is just awesome, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely awesome. God, that's strong. God. Oh, that's that beautiful. Stunning. It's another tequila. Oh, God. I can't think of a nicer way to see in a day than playing a tarpon. Oh, you've been on this 20 minutes, Chris, so far. You're doing well, very well. I say this, but it actually it might be tiring a bit. Famous last words. Hey? Well, <laughs> it did respond then a bit for the first time to me really leaning on the road. Oh, that's a nice shot, Chris. Oh. Whatever you want. We've been playing it 35 minutes now. Every time you think it's just showing signs of tar in it, gets a second win. God. Look at this thing. Unbelievable fish these, aren't they? Stronger than anything I've ever hooked in my life, I think. Uh, 40 minutes, Chris. I'm getting there. <laughs> you taking a breather? No. He's, he's showing someone to be in beat here. Yeah. 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 It's looking good, isn't it? Looking yeah. good. I think we're going to see this one on the top to appreciate it, Chris. Now, when we were flying over here and I told you how powerful these tarpon were... I thought you were having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> if you stand Nearly. Up, if you stand up, on it, John, I'm going to have to move down. OK, all right. Stand stand up. Up. Wait, wait, grab that leader. Yeah. You can see it, can't you? Ten foot down there, it's all it's doing, making you sweat like that, is just, its tail's just going slowly backwards and forwards. Is it coming up? Yeah, oh, that was a nice one. When he comes up, you've got to rework on it. Little tiny short pumps, yeah. quick. And just and just try and keep him high, keep him up. Just a little smooth pump. Another short one, another short one, down. When you get that up, when you get that momentum, keep him yeah. coming. You're making on it, you're making on it. Well, uh, we've been, this, head, head we've been here a few times. 
What's he getting on for, an hour? You're not running on an hour, yeah. Five yeah. minutes, Chris, and that you've been playing that longer than any other fish. We hooked it in darkness, didn't we? Yeah. I should be hooked it in March. <laughs> Give me the ludicrous. Back up. Hang on. No. Hang on. Hang on. No. Oh, bloody Boom. time it goes back down. Here we go. No, round about, round about. That's it. Uh, here we don't go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I really I'm don't want to hook. Getting stills to die for it. Here we go. This is our chance. What? We got him. Oh, well done. Well. Yes, yes. Here you go, Chris. Unbelievable. Oh. That's, that's how we release them. We don't, well done. We don't tore them right out because otherwise they'd be shark fodder. Also, they can go into shock, so we bust them off while there's still a little bit of fight in them. Oh, well done to you guys. Off he goes. Unbelievable. Well, well you there, my son. I've never, ever played anything like that in my life. Unbelievable. Chris. What? You what are you going to give him for that, John? Awesome. That was about twelve pounds, John. That was about one hundred and thirty. Was it? Oh, good. Mm. Oh, there aren't many people. Their first time, and they've had one hundred and thirty pounds. I think you're but just these jammy, Aaron. I am you're very jammy. These waters are unbelievable. Aren't they? I mean, they're just so <laughs> prolific. Because yeah. when we caught that one, and we almost knew we were going to catch it, didn't we? Yeah. Up it came. Yeah. You know. yeah. But there were dozens around it. Presumably yeah. all the same sort of size or bigger. Mind. What a place! Wonderful fishing here in the Florida Keys, eh? What a safari. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go get another one. Oh, I'll leave it <laughs> Should you make the 150 mile drive from Miami all the way down here to Key West, this is one place you can't afford to miss, Key West Aquarium, because you're liable to see all the species that you can catch in the Florida Keys, including these two big lemon sharks. And in this wonderful mangrove pool, there's several light tackle testers that we're liable to catch. There's some tarpon, beautiful big scales. Oh, there's a permit. They fight incredibly hard. And there's a huge jewfish lying on the bottom there. Oh, I bet they go. There's some barracuda and these gaily coloured parrotfish. Frankly, I just can't wait to get my rods out. Our base is Isla Mirada, and we've engaged skipper Randy Toe to take us 70 miles out into the Gulf of Mexico in his 36-foot contender sporting twin 250 engines. And it flies. But not enough to disturb my guest, Chris Tarrant. Tell you what, Randy, this uh, wind's getting up a bit, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. It shouldn't be too bad. The, uh, the permit might be down you know, toward the bottom, but they'll, they should come up, and I'm sure there'll be some groupers and jewfish and Lovely. stuff like that. We've got crabs with us, yeah. you know, we've got permit bait already, so we, we should be in for some good fishing, eh? I hope so. <laughs> you never know. You're not going to catch them if you're sitting on the couch. <laughs> That's the truth. And after two hours steaming, we finally reached the famous Blue Hole. The deepest part's right there. Throws 40 feet down. 126 feet, back up to 40 feet. And there were big fish visible everywhere. Some huge groups of permit, plus the inevitable two-plate and barracudas. So with trophy-sized permit in mind, we baited our 2-0 jigs with fresh blue crabs, their favourite food, and left the rest to Randy. Now we might have to get right in the hole. They might be laying right on top of it now. Hey. Look at those two huge satchels just going under the boat. Oh, they're enormous, aren't they? They're absolutely vast. Wow, what a size, huh? They're loggerhead turtles. Are they? Yeah. I don't know how old they are. They're probably... How old are they, Randy? How old will those turtles be? They've got to be. The permit are right in front of you. Oh, are they? 40 feet. They're going to the right on you. One, one two o'clock. 40, 50 feet. Right, there we go, then. Perfect. You ought to be getting a bite any minute. You got one on there, Chris. I think I have. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, well done. <laughs> it came towards you and went under the boat, didn't it? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Went straight under the boat. Oh, baby. Look at that. You wouldn't put your fingers on that. That's magic, isn't it? That is They like magic. these crabs, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Really different. 
Wow. Look at that run. You can't do that. anything about it, can you? You can't do anything about that. That is that is going. Oh, that's coming right off. There we go. Oh, that is a big fish, Chris, that one, isn't it? It's a whopper. Got him? Pass him up. Pass him up. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's just take the jig out. There we are. Well done, Chris. Great. Fish. Let's have him up here. Isn't that, that lovely yellow stain? Did, yeah. Did, what oh, is that little, yellow stain? A little spot of yellow. Some isn't people call a... them yellow belly. Oh, Chris, that's a beautiful fish, isn't it? That's where all the power comes here from. Here we are. Isn't it? Yeah, he's yours. And the power you comes from each side. That's There's beautiful. nothing but muscle. Yeah. The only point that's a big 23, 24 You wouldn't want too many of these in an afternoon, Chris, would you? I think you could hack huh? up 40 or 50 quite happily. We've <laughs> <laughs> got time. Give over. And a spite on them. That's a marvellous fight, absolutely marvellous fight. Uh, Randy, I think we're ready for this one now. That's a beauty. Look at that sun shining on its body. The little red headed jig. We put the crab on just in the scissors there. Beautiful sight, that. Absolutely. All right, Randy. That's a nice fish, isn't it? Big yeah. one. Be beauty, that one. That one is a beauty. Just stand here with me. Let's have a look at it. Whoa. Is that nice or? Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a beautiful. Oh, look at that. What's that, about 20, something like that? Yeah, I'd say. It's a lovely fish, isn't it? I'm so thrilled, I really am. <laughs> Have you brought us to the spot or what today? Well, you've got to huh? get lucky sometimes. <laughs> Absolute magic. What, are we over the hole now? We're right next to it. Okay. Oh, look out. Oh, you've got a shark after it. A big shark. That's a jewfish! Oh, it's a jewfish! It's a huge jewfish! That's look the most size I was telling you about! Look at that! Oh, that's a 500 pounder! Wow, it's gonna take it, Chris! You've missed it! Move on your fingers, Randy! <laughs> come here, come here. I'm coming down! Oh, no. It's not a manic sissy here! Oh, We're going down there! Bloody hell! You mind your fingers getting that out, baby? God, that thing. It's like jaws coming up. That was unbelievable. How big do you think that jewfish was then, Randy? I bet he was 500 pounds. Really? Uh, that, was was, like, that was six foot long, wasn't it? Every I thought it was a shark when it first came up. When it came up, it was long. Well, I've never seen him like that before. It, it? Yeah. And look That's at the size of this permit. 20 pound permit. And he's, he's eating it. <laughs> That was like a chocolate for him, wasn't it? You wouldn't want to go for a swimmer, I do, would you? Wow. Jesus. What a place. Like that. <laughs> now, if that jewfish lost 100, he'd probably be quicker and he could eat it. Yeah. Well, I thought that was a shark at first, oh, didn't you? Yeah, I thought it was a shark. Wow, I see what you mean about these big jewfish here. Let's see him swim yes, away. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> Unbelievable. That is one lucky fish. Yes, oh, you're, yeah. dead, you're dead right. Wow, look, look at, at that. that. Look at that swimming off. He doesn't know how lucky he, he is. Doesn't. Well, that was enough for me. Onto an 8 0 hook, rated real line, 50 pound stand up gear, went a flank of frozen jack. Down I lowered it into the hole. And within 30 seconds, that big Dewey has swallowed it. Uh, oh. Yeah, he's got you over the edge already. Oh no. Oh, yeah. look at that rod grating. Right, I'm going to have to get mean with this. Come on up. Up. Too up. late. Too late to get mean. He's going to cut uh. you off any minute. Ah! Uh, unfortunately. Ah! Uh, wow! I see what you mean about the the power of these things. Oh! oh it's grazing like hell. It's, gonna cut, isn't it? it's grazing like hell, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's well gone over the edge, and I didn't realise we were that close to the hole. Oh, I told you, you got to well, be mean from the get-go. I should have put a hernia belt on here, shouldn't I? Really? Chris, in my tackle bag, there's a... Hernia belt. A uh, hernia belt, can you... <laughs> yeah, I'll get one. Can you, um, get it out for me? Thanks. Oh, I've never had you dress me before, Mr. Tarrant. Very nice, yes, have you? Do you like to kiss you? Kiss you on both cheeks. Wow. Oh. God. 
just, just adjust my adjust my truss. Hang on, <laughs> whatever it is. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. got yours nearly in yet, John. You haven't up to another one, have you? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. Listen to that thing go. Holy cow. <laughs> Is that another another permit, Chris? Yep. Yeah. Big one. What are you doing, Randy? Pulling up? Yeah, I'm just trying to trying to get away from him oh. a little bit. Lost it. Uh. Okay, well. Yeah, see what you mean. The secret, the secret to catching those things, I'll tell you right now. If we do it again, when you, as soon as you get a bite, I remember did. you, remember you said I think he no, ate I, it. I should have done it then. Just have a look at that clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna cut I your cannot hand? pull line from that reel. Now, I couldn't have had it any tighter. I, I know. Oh, 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 here he comes. He's right under it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Look at the size of that thing! God. That's the one I lost, isn't it? Probably. And as Chris prepares to release his permit, would you believe his fit over that 20 now? pounds, I rebate him with another huge fillet of jack. And again, almost instantly, a dewfish at the bottom of the blue hole gobbled it up. Oh, this is nothing like that monster, Chris. Yeah, it's still a big fish, but it's nothing like... Ah, nothing. Ah, ah. I hope this braid holds out because you can... It's coming now. Not a bad one. Not a bad one, Randy. Randy, where are you? Right Randy! Here. Oh, come on, give us. Oh, I noticed the difference between that yeah. and that one that I lost. Some of those ones we've been seeing. Been oh. five, seven, That's a nice what, what size is that? 60, 70, something like that? Yes. Well, I told you one of these was coming up, Chris, yeah, didn't I? Wouldn't it? And I this know. really is one of the babies. It's one, it's one of the babies. Look, to some of the there's a tag there. Someone's caught yeah. that and put a tag in it. But I think we'll leave it where it is. What a beautiful fish, these jewfish. Beautifully spotted, huge, great rubbery lips, strong teeth, aren't they? Yeah, it's a bit like a catfish mouth, and it's got that same yeah. sort of very rough pad inside. Yeah, and, and the double perch-like spine. Let me just hold it up a bit more. Look at that. Hold him up. There we are. The thing is that we now know, I mean, we'll put this back as soon as you possibly can. Yeah. Which I think is one of the great things about fishing out here. But there's every chance when this goes back, <laughs> it's going to be eaten. It, <laughs> which is unbelievable anywhere in the world. It, it's every chance before it goes down the bottom, this poor old thing will be somebody's son. Unique, isn't it? Yeah. Wonderful fishing here in the Florida Keys. There are some fabulous big game boats in Whale Harbour at our Isla Mirada base in the Florida Keys, and we chartered 52-foot Carolina sports fisherman Blue Chip 2, captained by Skip Radine with his mate Wayne Crewing, to take us out into the deep blue waters of the Atlantic, where Chris Tarrant and I fancied doing battle with big amberjacks. Having fished here many times before, I knew we had an hour's steaming out to where Amberjack abound over the famous pump. So first, everyone enjoyed catching fresh bait fish over an inshore reef, once Wayne had lowered the anchor. Look at the fish down there. The remora's quite big, isn't it, uh, Wayne? Now, what sort of size do they go? Well, they don't get much bigger than that. Look at it. Wow. It's interesting, you stop in the middle of, you know, obviously it's not the middle of nowhere, but the skippers know exactly where they're stopping. And you start putting the chum in, and within less than five minutes, yep, they're, they're all here. Hundreds of it's fish are right. amazing, isn't it? While Chris and I were catching bait fish one at a time, Skip oh, loaded yeah. his drop net you over there, to catch Skip. several speedo like mackerel it. at every pull. Nice size. Beautiful. <laughs> I think it's another, uh, what's this? Yeah, another a nice shallow sail. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, there yeah, you are, Wayne. That's what I'm talking about. Beauty. 
With Skip recording his twice daily radio program and more than enough bait in the live well, we headed due east, straight to the hotspot, where the sonar screen illustrated that all important steep rise of the seabed, inhabited by enormous concentrations of big amberjack. Well, here we are. Skip's brought us out to the hump, 300 feet deep, and we're just about to start our first drift. And before I drop down, Chris is. Uh, it's deep there, Chris, believe it's me. It's very, very deep. <laughs> it's deep. Well, like bottomless. Yeah. Before I get mine down, let me show you the gear. I've got a lightweight stand up outfit with 50 pound braid on it, two 8 ounce sinkers, so that's a pound of lead to take a long trace down. Wayne's rigged me up with a, a real long 15 feet, 100 pound swivel trace. And the hook. It's a circle hook, one of these strange hooks developed by long liners, which go in and you don't have to strike hard. As you tighten up, they pull round and they catch right in the scissors. So they're a very humane hook because we hope to catch and release these big amberjacks. And I'm putting on one of the speedos that's uh, been made into a bit of a flapper. Let's just plonk that down, get this lead over the side and uh, see if we can get fast into these big amberjacks, eh? Whew. <laughs> wow, this is so bright today, isn't it, Chris? It's lovely. This sea is so clear, though. Look, you can see. Yeah. You can see probably 15, 20 foot down. Look at that. Why is this such a obviously popular spot? There are. Well, it's, it's there are it's boats all over the place, aren't there? It's where you've got the uh, the bottom comes up from 600 feet, levels out for a couple of acres on 300 feet with coral and a whole so fish a, structure. A real plateau yeah, out in the middle of nowhere. That's where all the fish are. You know, you've got amberjacks feeding on bait fish and you've got sharks feeding on the amberjacks. Uh, we're Death quite Valley, liable to have sharks grab our amberjack halfway up, you know. Oh, good. <laughs> well done. God! <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh! It was actually... <laughs> it was actually quite a gentle bite. But since then, it's been anything but gentle. God, 300 foot down. Oh, look at that. How big do these things go? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Oh, great. And that's not ounces. Ah. Ooh. Oh, that really hurts. <laughs> I knew you'd be enjoying this, Chris. Enjoy is not I one of the words that springs it. to mind, actually, John. Coming up now. Oh, it's come, oh, look at that. Isn't that a beautiful oh, God. Whoa, look at that. Now, that is a beautiful fish. No wonder I'm naked. Nicely hooked right in the lip, isn't it? Yeah. See the hooks? Don't well done, God. Wayne. But you can see that just in the scissors. God, did I really That's catch a big that? Fish. Yeah. You can see why this is an amberjack, this lovely amber colour oh. there. And it's also got this strange brown line yeah. for its eye that uh, you know, distinguishes mouth, it, it, it from all the other jacks. And of course, this huge mouth, it is in fact the heaviest of all the, all the jacks you can catch. These lovely swimmerettes, they look at that tail. You can see where they get their power. See those bony sheeps there, Chris? Great fish, very strong. Beautiful strap. fish. What's that, 45, 50 or what? Yeah, we'll put that at 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Yeah, 50 pounds. Chris? Beautiful fish, aren't they? That is oh. some amberjack. Hey, how am I going to do that? <laughs> You're a strong lad. Well done. OK, guys, you're on the spot. Lower your lights down now. How are you doing, Chris? I'm just back on the bottom. Back down. Good. Yep. Hello, I think I'm in now. Yes, so I'm am in. I. Here we go. Oh, so am I. Eee. Whoa. God. Oh, bang. <laughs> ah. A double hit. Oh, hey, that was magic, wasn't God, it? What a savage. That take that one. Magic. I take it we're in the hot spot, Skip. <laughs> God. <laughs> Stop moaning, Tarrant, and get on with it. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> magical, isn't it? Oh, That's it must like be packed well, down I, there. You know, I was telling you about how this was going to be, and for once in a while it's actually happened how it's going to be, yeah. right? Another beauty. I love watching them come up 
Oh, that's a beauty. I love watching them come up through that clear water. Oh, really? That is absolute magic. Oh, oh look at this. Look oh. at this. This is even funnier. What is it? Two people, two, one fish. I don't believe it. We've only hooked the same fish, Chris. You're joking. No, I'm serious. Oh, my goodness. Look, look. Look at the arm. Chris, come, put your rod down. Wow. Come and have a look. Well, look at that. Now, whose fish is this, Chris? It has to be mine, because obviously I, I hooked it first, didn't I? <laughs> no, that's mine, actually. I think you'll find. Is it? Well, there we are. Got... <laughs> that now, fish whose... must have been right. Whose fish is it? We'll have to call it a tie. That's a tie. <laughs> that's unbelievable. I don't believe... I don't... I well, that don't, fish with that I huge mouth just don't believe both baits, that. didn't it, at the same time? Shall we get a nice trophy shot? You hold the tie, Chris. Right. Whoops, got him. No, I'll put my glasses back on because I'm going to get slimed if I don't. Now, that's a beautiful fish. Isn't that? Thank you, Wayne. Isn't that yeah, nice? Tell you what, that's, that's quite an quite accomplishment. Is <laughs> that right? That's Unbelievable, that. <laughs> so that hit both our baits yes. at the same time. Yes. Just hit one and hit the yeah. other. Magic here in the Florida Keys. <laughs> Well, after those five big permits out over the blue hole, I doubt Chris ever thought he'd bag five big amberjacks, but he did. One being a much lesser caught Amaco Jack. And they all gave memorable arm-wrenching battles from 300 feet down. The best of real beauty approaching 60 pounds, which fought for over 20 minutes. Come on, Chris. You're really getting amongst these, aren't you? Do you want to put the camera on this one? Woo! Yes! Okay. Now they're starting to, starting to slow down a little bit now. Let's see if we can just pump him a little bit. Oh! Oh, look at that silver. Woo! Bill Whoa! I know you're enjoying this fishing, Chris, but yeah, it's great. what's your favourite type of fishing? Have you got one? No, I think it's whichever one I'm doing. I've always fished. My granddad taught me to fish when I was four, yeah. catching perch and bleak on the Thames. Yeah. My dad fished. It's just part of my life. And as much as I love catching, you know, oh. out here, some of these huge fish, like that one you've got <laughs> on the end there, or shark, or I mean, these fantastic tarpon or whatever, i just as soon be at home catching a, like a two-pound roach. It's I just a beautiful yeah. fish. Okay. Not far now, Wayne, huh? No, no, we should be able to see it here. You've been working them real well, bringing them up real high. We should get some color. That's a good amberjack. Let's hope we don't get a shark uh, come and relieve me of you, No, huh? no. A big fish today, aren't they? There's some beauties. At least sheen on its side as well, look at it. Let's have a look down that mouth. That's the last thing the bait sees. And then it's good night, nurse. Have we had some fantastic fishing here, Chris? It's been the Florida Keys. Brilliant. What a safari! <laughs> yeah. We are going to have to do this again sometime, <laughs> mate. Absolute magic. <laughs>